Welcome back everyone to Kind Time. I'm Pamela Pagano and on today's episode we speak to director Francesco Giannini who's bringing his upcoming film Città d'Oro to Italy in order to create jobs to those who were affected by COVID-19. Take a look. Hello, how's it going? I am wonderful. So do I call you Frankie or Francesco? What do you... <laughs> uh... Uh, I guess my Italian friends call me Francesco, but my close friends call me Frankie, Frank, Frank, Franco. That's so many, <laughs> so many ways. All right, Francesco. Or whatever comes out. <laughs> Frances- whatever comes out naturally. Yeah, yeah. So tell yeah. us about Francesco Giannini. What made you become the director you are today? You know, I've always had a passion for film since I was a little kid. My brother and I, we always, uh, you know, played skits out in our basement uh, with imitating films, creating our own little scripts. So it's always been, we're artists at heart, that's for sure. But where I think made me a director was that one day I was deciding, you know, what my career was going to be like and uh, what was what was the next steps. And in my late 20s, I was finishing up university, sociology, and I was doing communications. I, um, you know, I said to myself, what career is going to be able to satisfy all my interests in life? As a director, as a visionary, as a producer, you can incorporate all your interests as a, an individual and put them into a story and create the art. Now let's yes. go to your upcoming film, Chita d'Oro. <laughs> yes, Chita d'Oro. So, the Golden City. Exactly, the Golden City. I love it. Yeah. Tell us about that. Chita d'Oro came uh, to me, uh, I started developing it last year. His example in the, in the, in the story could mean many many things, many metaphors, but the idea is that the golden egg is the golden opportunity of, uh, you know, wealth and, and, and bettering your life, which in reality, we all know that that's not necessarily the way of happiness. Hello, everyone. This is Francesco Giannini speaking. I'm a film director and producer for Montreal, Quebec. Chita d'Oro is a modern adaptation of the old and familiar fable, which everyone knows, the chicken or the goose that laid the golden egg. And the golden egg represents for me, which is really important, is the, the idea of an immigrant, because my father left Italy to come to Canada to make a better life for himself. And that idea, that, that thought has always stayed with me. Was it actually the right decision? Because by coming here, yes, it was maybe more opportunities financially or career-wise, but there's also an element of his spirit, his soul, his culture, his family, his sisters, his brothers that he left behind. As of now, we have the interest of two very famous international actors, Claudia Giorini, which you may recognize from The Passion of Christ and John Wick 2. And the other is Adriano Giannini, son of legendary actor Giancarlo Giannini. And some of you might recognize him from the remake, Swept Away with Madonna. But now, tell us, I feel like you're sort of, in a way, the golden egg right now for Italians in the community where you will be filming. Tell me about your kind act around that. I said I started developing the story last year and I put it on the back burner because I was completing other projects and developing other projects. And then, you know, when COVID happened and I realized, and you know, I started watching what was happening on, in Italy, watching TV and it was, you know, all the deaths and it was, it was devastating. And I told myself, I go, when things get back to normal, I go, this would be a great opportunity to actually shoot this film because it is a way of optimistic film. It is a positive film. And shoot it in the town where my dad was born and my grandfather. So that makes it even more special. You know, uh, we lost jobs here as well, all around the world, but people in Italy in the film business probably are suffering as well, which which my producers and I have discussed already. And I said, it would be a great, even if it's not a huge budget film, but just to have people working again is very positive. This film is dedicated to the people of Italy and to the people who have died due to COVID-19. I also want to support the film industry in Italy that has suffered so much during this time and bringing attention to the industry, the creatives and the technical workers was the right thing to do. If I can go to Italy and shoot this within this year, it's a it's a definitely a hopeful act in terms of demonstrating, you know, that within the film for the viewers that Italy is not going to go away. They're still going to be there after this is, is all passed and they're going to be stronger, right? And I think the film represents a symbol of strength. So now yeah. I have my last question, Francesco. Frank. Oh, oh. Frank. <laughs> 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 what does kindness mean to you? I believe that whatever I do in terms of film offering jobs for people, 
uh, donating money for foundations, taking care of rescue animals. You know, I rescue animals. I rescued a few cats and dogs. That's just me. My I love my love for animals. But these are all acts of kindness. It comes from no judgment, no uh, restriction, just the freedom of it, of, of doing the act. It doesn't have to be for a reason. It doesn't have to be done for a return. It's just genuinely being kind. Director, actor, sociologist, and spiritual guide. <laughs> spiritual guide. There you go. I like that one. I like that. Yeah, that's. Ex I like that title. Actually, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'll use that as well in my credits. There you spiritual go. Spiritual guide. Exactly. I hope to make this film a reality for everyone to appreciate and enjoy. Thank you once again. Grazie per tutto il vostro supporto e ci vediamo in Italia. Thank you so much everyone for tuning into Kind Time today. Like Francesco, go out there and follow your passion because in the end, that truly is your golden egg. And remember to think happy and be kind. Bye bye everyone.